Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Hellstrike and today we will be playing with Photoshop to create thumbnails for my YouTube channel. So let's get started here. Right now we're in Photoshop. What I like to do is control O and go with straight with the background. That's what I'll be doing everything off. So I have all my backgrounds right here. Um, I think it was Chapel. We'll be using that one. That'll pop up. Bam! So this is our background. This is what we'll be using, or I'll be using for my image. So we'll just start putting stuff together. All I have to do is control O again, which will go back and open another file, which character is Thunder. Thunder right here. And we gotta decide which one we want. Oh, let's try. Let's go with that one. So hit W. Unlock this. Click on it. Hit delete. Bam! All that stuff is gone. Everything looks good. Control A. Control C to cut. We go to our background over here and I hit Control V. Bam. Hit V. So you can move it and you place it basically anywhere you want to. Hit Control T and Shift and you can size it size it perfectly. So we'll just leave them like that. Hit enter. Hit control O because we need more stuff. And I have what I need right here, which is Dragon Bomb logo. Bam. Control A. Flex all of it. Control C. Go back to background. Control V. And we place it right there. Now we could do more right now, but I'm just getting everything into place. Next, let's see. Oh, yeah. Control O. And we want my little friend here that I always hide. Sometimes. In random places. Control A, Control C, Control V. And we'll do some fun stuff with him later. What else do we need? Uh, we need, like anything, some explosions. So, Control O. Go in my files here. It's not the one I'm looking for. Here we go. And the best ones I've found so far is this one here. This is just random stuff on the internet that I've got. Boom. Okay, we like these, or I like them, uh, but I just want to use one. So we'll use this one. Right there. Control C. Go back to the background. Control V. Bam. He's on fire. Hit V. We can move it around. Now we want him in the background, so we gotta get him all the way down here. There you go. Of course, we can put him where we want to. Set something on fire. Okay, that looks good. Let me see what else do we need. Let's see. Let's look. I guess we can get the other one, huh? So these are all your files that I opened. You want that one, so let's go this one instead. Control C. You can also go, I believe it's right here or something. Maybe when it gets too big. V, and we got another one. And we can add it to that one, put it closer. Put it right there. Put him right there. Probably cover that up. I'll do something with that. I could have 
blend it and erase it or whatever if it takes too long. So usually I just fix it like that. What else do we need? Well, more later we'll fix it right now. So it's this one, so we're on this layer. If you double click it, it pops up this thing. And this, you can do, see here, shadows, make it darker, you can bevel it, we'll leave it like that. Uh, you can always change it too, just go in here and do cool things, you just gotta play with it. But now we're doing that quick little tutorial thing. Same thing with the other ones, this guy, just really quick. Since it's a thumbnail, the really is not gonna get big detail. So I do things like that. Um, let's see if this helps. Usually it's a longer process. I like trying new things, but this is like a really quick tutorial, I guess. We'll just like that. Uh, what else? Do we need here? Um, let's get this guy going here. Oh, this is a cool thing. Okay, so we gotta get this guy here. Hit Control Alt G. Okay, now this skull now will only appear on him in this. So I can go. Pretty cool, huh? So we'll do that. We'll go right here. Uh, you can either click it, but if you click it again, you can use the arrow key, and it does different things to your skull here. Sometimes it turns out pretty cool. I just normally Let's see. We'll just do that today. We can. missing something well let's find out so I looked at the movie or the movie not the gameplay so he loses <laughs> at the end but it was a good fight uh, so he's there he's there he's fighting oh that's right we need the EV because He's trying to stop that. So that's in, believe that one. Get there. Bam. And. We, what do we want? Let's take. What should do the bigger picture? Yeah, I like this one. Shows the rockets and everything. Go to where was it? I know, there we go. So that'll select everything else other than this. Of course you have to unlock it. Oh it doesn't work. Then go right here. Okay. And we hit W, well, we hit Control D to get all that away. If we have trouble like that, you want to go it away, Control D takes everything away. So that, and we hit Delete, that, Delete, that, Delete, that, Delete, that, ooh, maybe not that one. That, Delete. Okay, we got most of it right now. And that too. Uh, 
So we can hit E, that's a huge brush, and it'll just select that part. That's so much easier. You gotta play around with it and uh, you find tricks and everything. So control D, hit E for the eraser. No, my eraser's huge, so I wanna lower it. Okay, then we go, was it this thing here? Hit L. If you wanna do really quick, fast things right here, like that, bam, that's gone. So that's pretty cool and fast. Um, now this, probably want to get rid of this. So we just go along here. Of course this is really quick. If you can take your time and, you know, do an excellent job. This is just a fast thumbnail. Not much detail goes into it, really. Okay. And control D. We get this. We have to enlarge it. Let's see how this is. Control C. Control V. There it is. Control T. Hit shift. Pull in the corners. My M. That thing. I gotta figure out how, how it goes. So that looks pretty good. Of course, we can double click this, put some shadow and stuff on it. That's not bad. Oh, what else do we got? I think that's uh, uh, could do a lot more, uh, but basically, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna fix it up and make it all pretty, but <coughs> basically, that's it. So, if you want to see the end result, just look for the uh, gameplay, should be the same picture. Okay, I spent some time on it and fixed some stuff up. Let me show you what I did. Uh, well, I got basically this camera setting here. And placed it in here. Show you. I got this explosion here, which was... I got one. Here we go. This here, and put it in here by using Control Alt G. It was above it, so it can only be seen if it's in this area here. As far as the smoke, I made it darker by being uh, another one, duplicate it, and put it to multiply. Same thing with this one. There's two of them. See? I made two of these and did one light color. The other one is normal, so didn't make much of a difference, but maybe it was pretty cool. What else did I do? Uh, chapel. I, because uh, that's the map, so I put chapel so they know what it is, and then actually you can see the smoke through it. Uh, other than that, place that. That's pretty much it. I mean, pretty cool. What do you think? If you guys have any questions or you want to see more, just leave any comments or any questions or anything and I'll answer them. Thank you for watching. Okay, and here we go. This is my area here. Usually I use this to uh, any picture or something I'm drawing for. Right now this is what I'm working on. Right there. I got my computer here with uh, Photoshop right here and my Ocom tablet. Let's see. See, this is the latest thing I've been working on. 
See? I got right here where I hang my phone, listen to music. This is basically a hooks to my phone, the stereo, and if I want to type, so I don't have to touch the phone. Got my microphone so you can hear me. I'm recording on my phone right now. Over here, we just got a storage device, notebook, calligraphy, because I draw. That's nothing. And this bad boy here, which I will be filling stuff with right now. Right now it's just empty, so it looks good there. And that's my stuff.